My name is Devin Kogan, and I'm a professor at the Department of Cellular and Molecular Pharmacology at the University of California in San Francisco. I'm also a director of QB3 at UCSF, as well as a member of the J. David Gladstone Institutes here in San Francisco. I'm going to be talking about how we can use genomic information to develop targeted therapeutic strategies to help fight different disease states. Technology is really leading this biological revolution. It's the tools that are being developed in the Bay Area that are helping us make sense of the genomic information that is coming online. Today we're standing at the doorstep of absolute revolution and our speaker is at the cutting edge of this revolution and it is my pleasure to introduce to you tonight Dr. Nevin Krogan. Dr. Krogan, thank you. There are two papers published uh, 13 years ago, one in science, one in nature, that were a big deal then and they're still a big deal today, which gave us our first glimpse of the human genome. And the question is, well, what have we done since we have this genome over the last 13 years. The real goal is to take this genomic information and try to extract useful uh, information from it so that we could live longer, happier, and healthier lives by fighting off various disease states. I just want to go through you know, what is the human genome. Maybe people don't know all this, so here's a person just like all of us, and within this person there are organs, and such as the stomach, and these organs are made up of billions of cells, and in each cell there are different cellular compartments. And one of the most important cellular compartments is the nucleus here in the middle. Why? Because it harbors our DNA. What actually happens here in disease states is that we get mutations in certain parts of these machines which make the machines not function. So for example, you have a mutation here in this yellow component of this molecular machine that results in disease X. The goal then is to try to find a therapy, say a drug, which would then counteract the detrimental effect that this mutation will have. But one big problem here is drug resistance, and I'm sure everyone's heard of that. The drugs work for a while, but then there comes a resistance. And why do you see a resistance? Well, because the genes are mutated and can no longer respond to the drugs that are being applied. So we need to come up with new drugs and combinatorial therapies and add multiple drugs so that we do not get these mutations that would cause uh, drug resistance. So this is a very uh, important problem that we have to deal with, not just in diseases like cancer, but especially in diseases that uh, arise from pathogenic organisms like viruses. One other thing I'll say, I think that, that there's some validity in the idea that we could come up with a drug that would fight off not just infection, but other disease states such as cancer. So just to tell you, these proteins that we're finding that are being hijacked by these different viruses, a lot of them are also mutated in different cancers. So these are key proteins in us that are being mutated, that are causing disease, and that different pathogens are hijacking and targeting as well. So wouldn't it be great to have a magic bullet that you could give to somebody to say, maybe an anti-HIV drug as well as cure prostate cancer? That may be a little bit far-fetched at this point, but I believe in the next couple of decades, I, I think we're going to see cases like that. He was a great speaker and I was amazed that they're finding these solutions to these really big problems that, that he's working on through biotechnology. And he made it very simple and yet kind of very uh, mind expanding if you will in terms of this is how we start, this is the problem, this is the solution and this is what the mission is. 